Hi guys, welcome to another video of CP's Kitchen. Today being Veterans Day, I'd like to take the time to say a special thanks to all the veterans who have contributed to our country. Thank you. So today on the menu, we are making chicken parmesan. That is an Italian dish and it doesn't consist of very many um, items. So if we look below, I can show you what we have here. We have an egg mixture with some milk in it. We have flour, pepper, salt. I have um, marinara sauce. This is dried herbs, some oregano and some thyme and uh, I've already pounded out uh, two of the chicken breasts. So right here we have one, I wanna show you how to pound it out. I have it on a, um, a plastic cutting board and I placed plastic over it so that it would not uh, splatter anywhere. Um, this is my mallet. <clears throat> you can use, you see you have a smooth side and a rigid side. If I was trying to put ridges, let's say in some steak, I would use this side. But for today, I want to use the smooth surface because all I really want to do is pound it gently, just enough to flatten out this breast so that it will cook evenly. If I leave everything the way it was, you'd have some parts of this breast that are thicker than other portions. So I pounded out the other two and I just wanted to show you how I did it. You cover it with the plastic and, um, and there you have it. We have another piece of, uh, of pounded uh, chicken breast. So I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna put them all out here. And what we're gonna do next, I washed them needless to say, is I'm gonna season the chicken with a little bit of salt. And this is uh, kosher salt. And for anyone who's been uh, watching my videos, they know that this is the only salt that I, uh, I use primarily. I've been doing some homework on some other types of salt. But you wanna make sure that it's really salted very well because you're gonna use a breading to uh, coat it. Then I'm gonna take my uh, pepper. And this is fresh cracked black pepper. Let's flip the chicken so we can season both sides. come out really nice, a, a little larger than your fine uh, pepper. And it just enhances the flavor of food a lot better than the ground pepper to me. So I will always suggest uh, fresh cracked black pepper, okay? All right, so the next thing I'd like to do after we've seasoned it on both sides, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dredge it um, in the flour. Make sure you get it done very well. And then I'm going to, I don't know why I got this very small bowl, but I'm gonna make it work. Make sure you put it down in there. You wanna make sure you get it. Okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm not making a mess. But uh, when we come back, all three will be uh, dredged in the flour, coated in the egg, and then I have some Italian breadcrumbs since this is an Italian dish. Okay, we have dredged the chicken in the flour, the egg, the Italian breadcrumbs, and then the flour again. So my oil is now hot. I am going to take my chicken breast and we're gonna place it in the oil 
Yes. And we're going to let it cook for about uh, until it's golden brown. Everybody's temperature is different. So until it's a golden brown, I'll flip it over and let you see it. Hi guys, so we finished uh, frying the chicken breast and now I'm getting ready to put the marinara. We're gonna put it in the oven now. You see how nice and uh, crusted it is around the edges? That's what we want. I'm now going to sp spoon my marinara sauce just down the center. I don't really wanna cover it because we want you to taste the chicken. I don't want you to get all marinara sauce. Now, this is a blend of Parmesan and mozzarella cheese. I was fortunate enough to find this at my grocer so that I didn't have to uh, grate it up. So this is just a little quick step to get my mozzarella cheese and my Parmesan cheese on here. The mozzarella cheese melts very well. And of course, the Parmesan gives you that nice salty crust. And we want to make sure that um, we get the cheese all over because we're going to pop it back in the oven and let it, uh, just let the cheese, just enough to let the cheese melt. Now, um, I also have some herbs here. I have some dried oregano with a little bit of thyme. And I also have some fresh Italian parsley, which I'm going to put a little bit on now and we're going to save some for um, after it comes out. All right, so there you have it. Looks gorgeous. So we're going to put this in the oven 350 degrees, just long enough for the cheese to melt. Okay. Hi guys, we're back. We're finished. Um, I have completed this dish. It looks beautiful. I'm going to plate up. Um, I made some, um, let me get this one right here. I want it. Uh, and I'm going to get a little bit of this mac and cheese. This is my three cheese mac and cheese. I'm going to show you uh, on a different video how I make my mac and cheese. Okay, I'm going to get just a little bit. And I also want to get a little bit more of my marinara. So I'm going to take my fork. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit right on top of the cheese. So when I cut it, I'll get all those flavors. Um, I also have some pickled asparagus here. This pickled asparagus is from Vivio's uh, Market or Vivio's Restaurant. And he has a brand of the pickled asparagus. It's a little spicy, so this is going to be a mixture of flavors and textures. As a matter of fact, let me show you. He already has it bottled. Thanks, Vince. Vivio's pickled asparagus. Delicious. He puts it in his um, Bloody Marys as well as there's some sandwiches. I think you can purchase this on Vivio's.com. All right. Okay, let's taste our Italian dish today. This is our Italian dish today. You see, I want to get the crunchiness. I want to get a little bit of my... need to stop playing with me. I'm just going to try some of my recipes. Mm -hmm. Just follow the recipe. That's all you got to do. That's what I do. So uh, mac and cheese. Mm. Now I'm going to try some of uh, this is pickled asparagus. It's delicious and it's going to bring a different element to this dish. It's like a pickle 
but only it's spicy. I love it. So once again, chicken parmesan with my pickled asparagus and my three cheese mac and cheese that I'll show you on a different video. All right, so thanks for watching. Please follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Please click that red button below that says subscribe and you can get one of my videos every time I produce them. I try to do them every Tuesday, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.